the online platform. Yeah. Take me through that process. In very in brief, you you come online, you order. Uh, if you are paying immediately, you have a payment gateway. If it's if it's a regular customer, you plug in your buy now, pay later. How does that work? Um. So right now we're, we're launching a, a a new version of of the website that that's open to anybody who's going to buy at a certain bulk um, next okay. year. But right now, how it works, you have to register as a business. Um, okay. And that process requires that you go through a bit of vetting. Yeah, so there's a bit of, yeah, there's a bit of a hook up, hang up there. But we've done it because we wanted to understand our customers because on our platform, they have access to credit. So we wanted to know, just basic, basic KYC, like, like normal banks will do. So we wanted to know their ability to pay back, their willingness to pay back, etc, etc. And then... If they were legitimate businesses, because uh, uh, mm. under law in Nigeria and in Ghana, where we are, yes. Yes. you need to know your customers um, uh, and, and get success, all, all of these details before you can expose them to to, to credit. Um, so that's right. that's what, so how it works now. You get on the platform, you register as a business, um, you go through that vetting process, which takes typically maybe like a like twenty four hours thereabouts, okay. and then you can now buy on the platform. Um, so when you, when you, when, when you get on the platform, you want to buy. It. So it's, it's basically like Amazon, but for food businesses. So you okay. see a plethora of options under different okay. categories, dry, okay. fresh, um, condiments, all of that, whatever you want to buy. You want to buy rice, you nice. want to buy flour, you want to buy, um, chicken, etc. You just click, you click the, uh, the other quantity that you're looking for, put it in your basket, um, click, to buy, so you have different options. You can you can pay now, you can um, buy now, pay later, or you can pay on delivery. Now, uh, uh, we have a, a special algorithm that profiles you, and and that's what we do when 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 you're going through that vetting process. So it profiles you based on the type of business that you have. We have different metrics that I can't say here because it's, it's, it's an intellectual property, but basically no it profiles problem. you in terms of business. Okay. Um, also profiles your ability to pay your willingness to pay etc okay. and then okay. that's so what, what what tools what tools do you use for profiling or is that part of your IP? Oh, so that's not part of my idea like we developed it in-house um okay so so, so it's, it's so these are in-house tools yes in-house tools okay i mean we have partnerships with some credit credit bureaus which is also part of, of the of course. the um, um um what's it called the data that we gather to to profile you but like how the algorithm puts all of this together was built in house to, to profile you and okay. say, you know, this guy sh it should be exposed to buy now, pay later up to this limit, or this guy, no, this guy needs to pay on delivery, or this guy needs to pay before delivery. So that's how, how it works. Um, for context, currently we have less than a 1% default rates on, on the credits that, that, that you can access on the platform, which is way better than um, the local banks that we have in Nigeria and, and also in Ghana. So that's how efficient our system currently is. So back to, to the process. Now, whatever your, 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 your credit profile brings back now determines what the platform allows you to do. So okay. if, you're, if you're credit worthy, you can buy now and pay later. And then okay. based off of your business, you have mm. a certain number of days to pay back. So okay. if you are a bakery, for instance, you typically will have like seven days. If you're a mid-sized restaurant, zero bars, you typically will have like 14 days. It is so. So okay. different different categories like that. So when you click to buy, um, now depending on what time of the day you order, you can get your okay. order within twelve hour, within within twelve to six hours or less. Okay. Um, okay. If you order past twelve, you get it the next day. But it usually you get your your orders within twenty four hours. But if you order very early, you get it in six hours or less. So okay. you, that so you have access to credits, you have access to speed deliveries, um, and then quality. On the platform, when when the order is delivered to you within that time frame, you yeah. also have something called the Vendis guarantee that that guarantees that whatever you order on the platform is what mm -hmm. you got. So when you check it, it's almost like uh, Amazon's return policy. When you check it, and if it's not what you, the spec you ordered or the quality you ordered, you return it back at no cost to you, um, okay. and then we give you exactly what you want or we, we apply that as credit for you. So in a nutshell, that's how it happens right now. That is 
very interesting. How many of your customers order online? How many use phone? How many walk in? I am supposing at this point you have some sort of warehouse, you have walk ins, or is it directly from supply side to demand side? And you are just a plan. Um, so we, we, we started at, so as, as a um, supply side to demand side marketplace, but we okay. had to refine that because again, when you build, when you're building, you need to understand your users, you need to understand the market. 100%. Um, and because it's still a very young ecosystem and it's still nascent, um, a lot of the factors that you need to, to, you need for, for your product to be um, 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 high quality are out of your control. control. So when, when you're building for Africa, as you will see with not just vendors, and if you, as, I'm sure you talked to other founders, you need to bring 100%. as many of these out of control um, um, factors in under your control. 100%. If not, you're going to have a very, for lack of, I, I was going to speak French in, just now, but very nonsense products. Um, in, uh, so, in Nairobi, it, in Nairobi, we have a we have a popular saying, and I'll translate it for you. We yeah. we always like to say when when you are strategizing up in your ivory towers, uh, you must come down to earth because yeah. vitu kwa ground is different. So yeah. basically, that basically means that stuff on the ground in the very marketplace completely yeah. different. Very, so very we. Much we are starting to appreciate the fact that it's commerce period not e-commerce because you've yep. got to integrate both the off and online conversation yep so you learn you learn that lesson as you oh. move along in your business model yep 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 so, yep. How, so how 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 have you navigated that so so what, what we did so like i said before we used to just enhancing platform where you know what? You come on the platform. You say you want rice. We connect you to the to the rice mm. guy. The rice guy yes. delivers. But we we started to have very quickly started to have a lot of complaints. Complex. Complex, a lot of complaints on time of delivery. Um, so it was this quality. Same, it was almost as if we built technology, but the problem was not solved. It was still the same problems we were facing. And so we said, you know what? We needed to handle the logistics and the warehousing thing ourselves, and just buy from the suppliers and and supply to 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 the demand side and put a markup on it. And so that, that's, that's basically the system that we've, we've, we've run for the last three years plus, um, okay. where we basically off take from the suppliers and then give to, to the demand side of things. Um, so how, but, how, 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 how long did you run the MVP? Um, so we ran the MVP for about three months before we said, okay. you know what, like this, this wasn't working like we wanted it to. Okay. Um, but but just for context, like I said, you need to understand your users yes. and you need to your market. Um, yeah. But as we've evolved over the last like three three years plus, um, mm. we started to offload some of that responsibility back to third party. Because what has happened okay. now is with the logistics, because we have algorithms also that can predict buyer behavior. Like yes. we worked with you for years, so we know typically when you will order beef during the week. Like we know mm. typically. Restaurant A will order 20 kilograms of beef every Monday, and mm. by Friday it will be finished. So yes. even before you place that order, we already kind of make that order available close to you at a at a small nice. um, facility close to you, so that nice. when nice. we place the order, or when you get a nudge from either the platform or from your customer experience person mm. to place that order, it gets to you within 12 hours or less, or six hours or less, depending on on, on where the area is, and so. That same algorithm is used to partner with third party logistics companies. Okay. To direct them on what routes they're going to be taking the next day. And so mm. from the, from the day before, they can already plan what routes they'll be taking. And this improves the efficiency of that system. Now, this has allowed us to go from a hundred percent owning the logistics when, when we decide to take it on to about uh -huh. 20% owning the logistics now. So the only part of our logistics. Uh -huh that we operate right now is the cold chain part of it. And even the cold okay. chain now, we're beginning to find partners who can do it as efficiently as we can. Because wow. we still control that process. The only thing we don't do is drive the buses or the vans. Mm. 
So you've gone to the extent of owning coal chain uh, <laughs> systems, and now you are thinking that we've developed our own skill set. We know the quality we want. We can demand and track the quality from our third-party partners. Yes, Whoa. exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Yeah. So you you are now operational four years, six months. May I ask how many customers, actual active customers you have of restaurants every month, irrespective of the size and chain? Um, so so I, can't, I can't share some, some information with you because my board of directors I, will just find I, sensitive. I had, but, I had to try. I had yeah. to try. 